Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey friends, uh, so in this video it's going to be a little bit different as this will be an introduction uh, to old school RuneScape. So as you can see, um, I'm on my main account right now, I'm just uh, cannoning some ogres right now to train my range. Um, just a real quick uh, throw up of my stats so you can kind of see where I'm at. Uh, I'm trying to hit all base 40s, I'm at a 726 total level and this account has been up for I would say a week or two, probably three weeks I would say maybe altogether time uh, that the account has been alive um, so a little bit towards the end of the video I will be doing a shout out to all the donations I've received from on this account um, I have a various uh, group of people that have not only gave me money but uh, like various items as well so just big shout out to those uh, those people they'll be listed at the end of the video um, with links in the description to their channels and, and social media so Thanks again to those players that that made this account uh, possible. That that helped me get all these stats so quickly. And uh, so, with that being said, uh, this video is going to be a walkthrough of uh, Tutorial Island. This is going to be essentially for new players from my channel and uh, new players in general. I've had an awful lot of players say that they were new to the game, they've never heard of the game, um, things along that line. And I, I was very excited. So this is just kind of an introduction for those players. Um, there's going to be a link in the description to RuneScape so you guys can download the game and try it out. It is cross-platform from PC to mobile and it's one of my personal favorites so I, I'm, I'm extremely excited to introduce it to a newer audience, you know. Finally, uh, you'll get a little bit more of an overview on my main account when we come back uh, after the tutorial island walkthrough. Um, so everyone kind of has an idea how to make an account and get started. Uh, we'll be diving right into building my main account. so. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before you can get started with uh, the tutorial island, first you're going to have to go to obviously runescape.com and create an account. So as when you pull up to runescape.com, you're going to see a lot of different options. It's a little bit overwhelming, but if you look up at the top, you're going to see sign in and join. You're going to be clicking that. It's going to prompt you to an email screen. This is going to be the login screen, but if you don't have an account, you're going to come down to create an account. Here you're going to type in all the essential needs uh, to create the account. I am actually going to be creating an account for this. Um, I'm going to be creating a later video where I'm just flipping on the account. I'm probably going to throw 500k and uh, try to make that into 20 mil or something very... something that doubles, triples, quadruples, whatever it's going to be, but, um, so you're going to want to create an account and start it out and then download the account once you have all this filled in. Once you create your account, you'll come to this screen and then you're going to click download. Once you have downloaded the game, you double clicked it, you opened it up, you log, you typed in all your information, logged in, it will bring you to this screen. Um, so here you will be choosing your display name. This is going to be the name that everybody in the game sees you as. Um, it's going to be different from your username and you're going to see it in the bottom uh, left hand corner and you can just type it out as you wish. Um, this account is going to be Lil Baby Nerd. <laughs> that is going to be the name. Okay and it's going to tell you if it's available so I'm going to set name. As you can see, um, there's going to be a link in the description for Runelight. This is an add-on that you can use. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it will just help you in everything in the game, but before then you probably want to maybe do the tutorial and make sure you're all about the game. In a second, I'll turn on the music. As you can hear, it is a little bit overpowered. Um, I'm just going to accept those man. So to get started, you're just going to want to talk to the first guy in here. It has an arrow over his head. Okay simple. He's going to have you uh, talk to him. Now you can hit spacebar or you can click to continue. You press spacebar. He's going to tell you a few, a few things about talking to NBCs, which I did and show you already. You just click. Thank you. 
I am going to turn down all the music. Um, he said move on to the next structure, so I'm going to move and click to the next door. Um, as you can see, with the rune light feature that I was talking about, in the top left hand corner it is actually giving me a small detailed uh, tutorial on how to do stuff. So if you did download the rune light uh, extension, which will be in the description, um, this will be even easier without the walkthrough. <laughs> So you're going to run over here, same thing you did for that guy, you're going to talk to this next female with a uh, arrow above her head. Hello, hello, you're going to introduce her, and she's going to tell you about the three new skills that you are going to train. She gives you a small fishing net, and this is going to be where you can check your inventory. In this bottom right hand corner, you can see there's an inventory thing. You're going to click that. Now with that net, you're going to use that net over here on the arrow spot. It is a fishing spot. This is going to be training your fishing. This is one of the 23 skills that you can train throughout the game. Um, this is just the very first fishing spot. Uh, before you used to be able to uh, train to level 3, but in the new tutorials they cap you at 1, so you gotta do it like right away. <laughs> um, so here I caught a shrimp and it's gonna give me my skills, uh, my skills tab now. So as you can see here are the 23 skills. Um, there are grade out skills and those are skills that are members only as you can see um, there's quite a few members things um, as you play the game it kind of caps you at a certain point which uh, is where it kind of pushes you to buy members um, you obviously don't need to get members as you can play the whole game throughout free free to play but one of the very cool things about this game is you can use the in-game currency to buy membership so you could technically work your way to a membership bond and then continuously have membership with in-game currency that you worked for in-game. You know what I'm saying? So it is a completely free-to-play game. You're going to come back over and talk to the uh, survival expert. The arrow is going to be blinking once you have caught the shrimp. She's going to give you a bronze axe and a tinder box. Now to switch back to your inventory, you're just going to click the inventory tab. She's going to ask you to cut down a tree. Your character is going to attempt to cut it. This is where you're going to be training wood cutting and fire making, another two skills in the 23 skill list. So once you catch a, or <laughs> once you catch, once you cut down a log, um, you're going to have to set it on fire with the tinder box. So you're just going to click the tinder box and then click the logs. That's going to start you setting it on fire. This is how you would, these are the basic ways to train these three skills. So fishing, you would find a fishing spot get the required fishing tool and then fish there until you get the next level or whatever needed. Wood cutting, you need an axe and then you'd find the given tree that you're at and you cut the tree. Fire making, you'd grab a tinder box and light the logs on fire that you have the level for, you know what I'm saying? So cooking, I'm gonna be using the shrimp so this would lead into the next one. Um, with that being said, all skills intertwine. So like logs are used for fire making and then you can use that fire for cooking and the cooking food you got from fishing, you know what I'm saying? So everything can be built or everything can be separated if you want to be faster at the skills. So I'm going to use the shrimp on the fire to cook it. You can see in the bottom of the tank corner that it cooked some shrimp. And now it's going to tell me to move on. If you look in the top right hand corner, you will have a mini map. This is going to have the arrow on it next. As you can see, there's no arrow on my screen. That might have confused anybody, but you were just going to click on the mini map. You can see if you turn your camera, I'm using the arrow keys to turn my camera right now. You can also click down on the mouse button, scroll wheel, and hold it to move your camera as well. I'm going to click on the gate to open it and walk out. You can see the arrows to the next door. I'm going to click the next door. This tutorial is very easy, but it, it's pretty long as there is a lot to do with each skill, you know? Each skill is simple but has a complex. Uh, ending and use, you know. So it's gonna have you talk to the master chef. He's gonna tell you about all about cooking. <laughs> so this is gonna be a, another way of cooking. This is what I mean by simple and complex. Um, even your character is confused about having to learn cooking again. So the cook or the master chef gives you flour and water. You're gonna use these together to make dough, and then you're gonna use that dough on the range. This is going to give you bread. So that is a more uh, complex way of cooking. And when it when you move to members, that's kind of more of what you're leaning towards, is the more complex ways of cooking, as you can cook like omelets, cocktails, things like that. And then 
with more of a free-to-play cooking, you're probably going to be doing shrimp, tuna, trout, just like standard fish, you know what I'm saying? So now it's going to have you move on. You're going to walk down lower and go through this door. You're going to follow this arrow all the way up. And it's going to take you to the next area. If you didn't have run on, if you can see in this top right corner, it's highlighted because it was already toggled. But if it wasn't highlighted and you're walking, you can simply click it. Or if it was unhighlighted, you can click it and it will turn on the run. And your character will be running if you're wondering how I'm running and you might have been walking. So it's going to have you come over and we're going to discuss quests. So as you can see in this mini map, each mini map has its own little uh, icon. This is going to be the quest icon and that's going to be like a danger icon. It's going to have you talk to the quest guide. It's time to learn about quests. He's going to show you your quest journal. This is going to be a list of all your quests. Your The achievement diaries, the mini game list, and the, the uh, current favor. Those are all for members, but uh, something you can look at and, uh, and start on. I know a few of the achievements can be uh, free to play. And then your quest list. There's a free quest list, and then there's a giant members quest list. Um, that allows you to kind of have free game with questing. It's going to have you keep talking to him. He's going to tell you about it. And also, if, if you want like a more uh, formal description of everything, you can always just read what they are saying, and they're giving like a an exact formal description of everything that I'm kind of telling you. So I'm just talking him up, talking him up. Uh, he just told me about the icons <coughs> and about the journal. So now we're going to start moving into more combat skills. I don't know if mining comes first, but it might be mining into combat skills. So we're going to run down that. I just clicked down the trap door with the arrow. Everything was listed. We're going to go into mining. So you're going to talk with the guy with the arrow above his head. It is the mining instructor. <laughs> it's very funny that it shows your face so whatever you uh, you customize your character to be and whatever your name is they will be using it in the text and it will show your face talking so I got a bronze pickaxe um, and I am gonna roll over to the tin ore this is just gonna be the ore highlighted and I'm gonna run over oh I believe first actually you have to prospect it nope I guess it's just gonna let you go right into it so you can just go over, click it, mine box. It's going to have an arrow above it, just like everything else. Um, you don't have to click the actual specific rock with the arrow on it. So I'm just going to click the closest rock towards me to get the copper ore. So with both ores, we are going to go into smelting. As I told you, every skill intertwines or has at least one other skill that intertwines with it. Um, so I'm going to use both of these on the, or I'm going to use one on the furnace. And it's going to smelt these into a bronze bar. With all that being done, I'm going to go talk to the mining instructor. If there's anything that I sped by or you thought I went too quick and you have any questions, please comment. Feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to help. Um, so you're going to talk to him. You're going to show him about the bronze bar. He's going to give you a hammer. This is going to be another, uh, another way of smithing once you have the bars. And you're going to go over and make the armor and the equipment. So these show you a list of all the things you can make. Um, obviously, I'm only level one, um, and this is a tutorial, so it's just going to have you make the dagger. Dagger's made. As of right now, it is going to have you move on. You are done with mining and smithing. Those are just your basic needs. So you would mine the ore, you'd put it in a furnace, and then you would smith the bars with a, with a hammer. And you just need a pickaxe for the mining. Moving on. You're just going to go to the gate at the uh, east corner. And then you're going to go talk to the combat instructor. This is the first time you're going to see levels. It shows him as a level 146. Let's talk to him. You can just click him or you can right click and click talk to. He's a bit rude to you. <laughs> but he will show you your worn equipment tab. This is going to show you all your equipment that you are currently wearing. And then this is going to show you your equipment stats. As you can see, I'm not wearing anything, and I have no current stats, and I'm bald. <laughs> okay. 
with that being said, I believe you have to equip the dagger that shows you a minus weight in the rune light, uh, in the rune light in section, in ick, extension, sorry, <laughs> words, you know. Um, once you have it equipped, you are going to talk to him once more. He's going to give you a sword and shield once he laughs at your dagger. Um, and then this is going to be where you equip the bronze sword, you equip the shield, and you will check your combat options. With the combat options, this is where you uh, click what attack you are going to use. This is also where you turn auto retaliate on or off. This is where your player will automatically attack things that attack it, or if it just stays neutral and lets things attack things attack you. Um, I am going to move this over to Slash as it is the strength XP. You could do uh, Lunge as a share, or actually I don't know if this sword has a shared XP right now. But you can see how it says Slash Strength XP. This would say Stab Attack XP and this would say Stab Defense XP. Those are going to be the skills you are actually training. So you could train them individually. Um, and then certain weapons have a combined shared attack that trains all three at the same time. So the destroyer asks you to move into the pit of rats, so we're going to run over to the gate and open that gate. And my favorite part, killing the rats, dude. <laughs> You're going to come over here and just click the rat with the arrow above its head. Your character will move in. You should be fine to uh, survive. I don't believe it. the first rat can actually kill you um, if you have both equipped. But if it does, you always have the shrimp and the bread in your inventory as they are actual food items that you can use. Once you have that rat killed, you can leave and open the gate. He will talk to you and commend you for your kill. You're going to run over here and talk to your combat instructor. You're going to exclaim, you killed the rat. <laughs> now he's going to train you in the next combat skill, which is range. He's going to give you your bow and your arrow. You're going to do the same thing with the uh, sword and shield. You're going to equip the bow and the arrows. You are going to run over the gate and you are going to fight again. You are going to open the gate and fight the first rat. Oh, I'm so sorry. You actually don't need to open the gate. Um, you can actually shoot the rat through. This is actually showing you um, some things you can do in-game, which is called a safe spot. Um, you might hear that more often than not. Um, it's a spot you can go to where you can't get hit, but you can attack certain monsters for free. Um, free XP, free item drops, whatever you're doing the kill for. So I'm just going to finish this off. Whenever I can get a hit in, you know what I'm saying? I just remembered on my main account I was cannoning and I just logged out. I'm going to really need to log in and get my cannon back. Um, I went over to talk to the instructor, which was a little bit wrong, because we are going to go to the north side and go through this ladder. This is going to bring you to the next portion. You have learned about... Let's go over the skills we learned real quick. We learned about mining, smithing, fishing, cooking, fire making, and wood cutting. Those are going to be your basic stats for free to play, or your basic skilling stats for free to play. We also learned about your combat stats, which are attack, strength, and defense. And then we ended with a little bit of range practice from a safe spot. So now I'm going to move in. We see a bank icon in the top corner. You can click on the inside, it is going to have you use your bank. You can click on the use bank or you can talk to the banker. He's going to have you open your bank. If you look in this bottom right hand corner, I'm going to do the deposit inventory. That is going to do everything in my inventory or you can individually click things and it will store them like that. So I'm going to store everything in the inventory. In the rune light uh, app, it's going to show you how much your bank is actually worth combined total. But for this you don't need, you just need to use the bank. You can exit out. Now it's going to talk about a poll system in game. This is for in game booting or er, voting. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for feature, uh, future game uh, sign, whatever it may be. Um, but this is open for members with skill totals of 300. Um, but highly recommend once you hit that level or if you are a member. It's going to show you the current poll. And we're going to move on. You're going to click this door to your uh, east side, and you're going to talk to the account guide. Uh, he's going to tell you about your account and, and um, some of the specific things that you can do with your account. It's going to open up the account management tab as well. This is going to show you your upgrade status. This is going to show you uh, links on your like actual um, 
user account um, and your in-game account. This is where you can also change your name and upgrade to membership if you just wanted to buy it instead of in-game currency. So we're going to talk to him again. He's going to tell you about memberships and world swapping. At any given time, you can swap worlds, and there is a plethora of members' worlds as there is a plethora of free-to-play worlds. He's going to tell you about your inbox for your actual website account, and then um, a few more things about the account if you want to check that out. You might want to just read those. Um, he's going to have you move on, and we are going to run out on this east side, and we're going to run out to the south. We are going to learn about prayer. We're going to talk to the brother Brace. So he's going to give you your prayer tab. You can click that in the bottom right hand corner. And it's going to show you all the prayers you can learn through uh, bearing bones, using bones in altar, and other various options. <laughs> it's going to show you your friends list and your ignore list. This is when you can add and delete friends or add people to your ignore list. And such. Very quick, very easy one. We're going to run to the gate. That is going to be on the south side. And at any point, you can always look at the mini map, and it's going to basically show you everywhere we're going to go. We're going to move towards the next building. This one wasn't on the mini map, but uh, if you if you get confused, just probably move towards any building you see on the map. Um, it's going to be in the uh, east side. We're going to talk to the magic instructor, and this is going to be your, my final instructor, as it shows in the bottom left. He's going to show you about the mage book. You can see it the last tab. Or, well, we have a few more tabs, but those are going to be a few things that show us towards the end. We're going to talk to him again after we open up the mage book. He's going to give us some runes so we can cast our first spell. As you can see, if you left the mage book open, now the highlighted uh, spell is wind strike. And you can see he gave us the runes for it. Now what we're going to do is click wind strike and click on a chicken. Uh, it seems that other player was actually already... Oh, I clicked on the player by accident. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to try to attack you. <laughs> I'm not sure if we actually have to take the chicken down. Um, but I'm going to. Nope, you can't. Alright, GG. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the wizard after you use the strike. And he asks, do you want to go to the mainland? You are going to answer yes. And you are done. It's gonna put you. In, he's gonna tell you it's gonna put you in Lumberge. This is basically the home base for everybody, and I'm gonna explain why. Um, as you can see right here, you have a teleport that is available. This is gonna be available at any given time throughout the game, and it is available for all players. Um, there are certain restrictions on teleporting in the wilderness, but we can get into that maybe into later videos. Um, but yeah, it costs zero, it requires no runes, but the only requirement is a 30 minute recharge time. But like I said, you can use that from anywhere at any given time. He tells you about the three adventurers that will give you starting armor, which I will show you real fast to end this off. So you're gonna say yes, uh, space, space, and you are going to um, be spawned here. We're going to see Adventurer John. He calls over to you to come talk to him, and he explains a little bit more about the world. Um, as a free-to-play player, he's going to give you a certain uh, handful of items as you complete quests and do various missions throughout the, throughout the diaries in your account. So I just space, space, space. As you can see, I got everything through the Destroyal Island. Last thing's last thing, I'm going to show you how to get a little bit of starting uh, items and such. So first things first, I'm going to come over and talk to the melee instructor, and he's going to teach me the basics. He's going to give me a sword and a shield, that is what I wanted. Um, that is all I really needed. He's going to just tell me about like attacking things and other things. Um, but I just wanted the sword and shield that you can get for free, right off level 1. You can also talk to the ranged combat tour and just click claim. She will give you a bow and an arrows an arrow set I'm sorry and then I don't believe I can I'm gonna drop my air runes and nature runes or my air runes and my law or god my air runes and my mind runes god I can't think right now and I'm gonna claim as the magic instructors as she will give me uh, two more as well I believe 
oh I'm so sorry they actually changed it to where you can only get um, the ranged or the mage and since I already had runes I went for the range first so that is perfectly fine but with that we are going to end this walkthrough tutorial I hope that was uh, knowledgeable and I hope that helped if you were struggling with any part of the tutorial um, if you guys need any help if you guys have any other questions please comment down below and thank you so much for watching the tutorial island walkthrough in concluding this video I would like to not only thank you but a giant shout out to Chef Dab, Flex Nemesis, and Maya Misako. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, I'll show you a little glimpse. Uh, I don't want to, just in case I butchered it. Um, if you have any skills you want explained in a video in the future, uh, please comment and I'll, I'd be happy to go over it. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and think about uh, hitting the sub button for future videos to come. I also have a stream, or I also stream Monday through Friday, um, 7 p.m. Uh, to 2 a.m. Arizona times. Um, if you want to catch any of this live, or you can add me at BooRS if you want to catch me in game. Uh, the CC is always open at BooRS. Um, and thank you guys again for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Damn son, where'd you find this?